Hey guys, welcome to this Reason tutorial on how to sidechain. The reason I'm making this tutorial is because when I found out what sidechaining was, I couldn't find anything useful on how to do it. But when my friend showed me how to do it, I improved on his patch and thought I would share with you guys on what I do now. So let's get started. You're going to need to open up a combinator. Go to other and make a mixer 14 to 2. And from here you're going, you'll want to hold shift when making everything else. Make read drum and initialize it. Load up a bass drum. Like that. And you'll want to go to other, make a spider audio merge and splitter. What this is going to do is this is going to take a signal from the kick drum. We're going to put it oh, we're going to put it into the splitter. Take it out of the splitter and put it in here. I forgot to hold shift. <laughs> anyway, that doesn't matter. We've done that now. Uh, between the read drum and the splitter, I would usually put in a EQ and a compressor and just delay or whatever just to improve the sound. But we'll just keep it like this just now. Just make a very, very, very simple pattern. It's very, very exciting. Copy the pattern to the track, and that's all we're going to do for this just now. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a synth, which I've already done, but as you can see it's just, just, just a Thor with nothing else done to it yet. That That's not the point. You're going to need to go to effects, and don't hold shift this time, sorry, and make a compressor. Now sidechain compression is very, very important when you've got heavy music like dubstep or something. When the drops in, the bass drum may get drowned out by, say, like a synth. So what it does is it takes you, you get the synth, you connect it up to the splitter, like so. And this allows the bass drum to power through over the synth for a split second. But in order to achieve this effect, you're going to want to go to the compressor on your synth, turn turn the threshold all the way to the left and this is going to allow everything that comes above this threshold to be compressed and you're going to turn the ratio all the way to the right which is going to adjust how much you compress it by in this case an infinite amount make a wee bit of an input gain and an output gain uh, on compressors the attack and release knobs are very very important this is the attack just controls how fast the compressor kicks in and the release controls how long it takes for it to stop kicking in. You're going to pan them left and right. Now since these are connected up like so, if I go to my mixer, turn down the synth because it's really loud, I'll show you what it sounds like without the sidechain compression. You can still hear the bass drum, but it's not powerful enough. Uh, it won't sound particularly powerful since I've not done much uh, EQing and such to the bass drum. But now that I've turned on the compressor and press play, you'll definitely hear the sidechain compression come in here. And that, guys, is basically sidechain compression. If you do this in your mix and basically sidechain everything into the bass drum. Oh, and by the way, if you run out of room on the splitter, which you probably will, just make another splitter and take one of the outs and put it into here just to link them all up and you can just go forever, basically. I'll show you the patch that I use really quickly just to show you what I mean about the lots of work on it. You just spend you just spend ages making a patch and you will get the sound that you want. This is basically what my one looks like. As you can see, there's plenty of EQs, compressors, a wee bit of delay for the snare drum. And we've got plenty of splitters here. Each of those splitters is connected up to a channel on the re-drum. And we've also got some FX sends, which is a reverb which focuses more on the highs. And another reverb which is on the lows with a wee bit of a boost, kind of mid-high. 
And also you might want to put a maximizer in with the limiter turned on just to stop your sound from clipping and sounding disgusting. But yeah guys, that's basically the tutorial up. I hope you found it very, very useful and like, comment, favorite, subscribe the video. Just help me out guys. Peace out everyone.